Real deal from here on, huh? Well, it's easy to get lost in. Can you all hear me? Whoa! Is that you, Senpai? I'll be providing audio backup from here on out. Keep that in mind. Wait, are you saying you can see this place from all the way out there? It's my persona's ability. The structure of Tartarus actually changes from day to day. I'd like to join you up there, but we need someone to provide outside support. That's even more concerning. Now, based on your current location, you can expect to encounter enemies at any time. This shouldn't be too tough, but proceed with caution. You'll get the hang of it as you go. Right. Got it. Why is she always like that? Right. Let's begin. Defeat all the shadows on that floor. I'll support you as much as I can, but it's up to you to learn something out there. There's a shadow up ahead. This is the first real battle for Takeba and Iori. Proceed with caution. All right, let's start by going over how to attack shadows. When faced with an enemy, you have two primary options for fending them off. The first option is to use your equipped weapon. The second option is to use your persona. But remember, Every persona has its own strengths and weaknesses. Knowing how personas work will be crucial. Try summoning yours right now. Well done, Iori. Considering it was your first battle, you did well. Talk about two. You'll be fine. Don't be afraid to show what you can do. Got it. Good. Let's continue exploring.
Another shadow up ahead. Let's get you more accustomed to combat. The battle's about to begin. Everyone, stay focused. Alright, next, let's go over a useful approach for defeating enemies. Most enemies have an elemental affinity that they have low resistance to. Targeting weaknesses is one of the best ways to deal damage. Not only that, it can also knock enemies down. Knocking down an enemy creates an opening, letting you continue your offense. Weaknesses, huh? Done! I'll show you how it's done! Wait! Let me handle this one! Just point it to my head and pull the trigger. I can do this! Work, Takeba. You performed as well as I hoped you would. Totally. I can take my eyes off you. Can you try not being a creep? Great. Looks like everyone's gotten used to handling their personas. Leader, take note of each member's strengths and conduct the battle accordingly. I can still sense some enemies around. Let's move on. Yeah. The heck? Hey! Found some kind of boxy looking thing. Yes, boxes like those seem to be scattered all throughout Tartarus. Sometimes they contain useful items for battle. Seek them out as often as you can. Oh, sweet! So they're basically like treasure chests. Hell yeah! Let's bust it open and see what's inside! That looks like it'll be useful. It's up to you to decide how to use it. your chance. Try sneaking up on them from behind. Make sure you stay out of their field of vision.
Next, I'm going to explain a tactic for defeating several enemies at once. First, go ahead and strike an enemy's weakness. I'll keep track of tactical data, such as any enemy weaknesses you've identified. If you ever forget an enemy's affinities, just let me know and I'll get that data for you. perform an all-out attack. An all-out attack? It's a maneuver that engages the entire team in a coordinated assault when all enemies have been knocked down. Naturally, the enemy has no way of defending against this. It's one of the most reliable means of attack. Oh, that sounds so badass! Let's give it a try right now! To do. Now, it's time for a full assault! Here we go. Attack, you filthy shadows! When I saw my opening, it's like my body just knew what to do. That was magnificent teamwork. It's hard to believe it's your first time. As you grasp the flow of battle, you'll learn to coordinate with each other seamlessly. Let's apply what we've learned so far and continue exploring. Another shadow up ahead. Take advantage of what you just learned. Try not to alert the enemy as you move. Six of 
combat now. But the most important thing is making decisions based on the situation at hand. I'll continue providing support, but this time, go ahead and try fighting on your own. You, my boy, are able to possess multiple personas and summon them at will. The enemy has been defeated. Excellent work. Um, was that...? Well, it looks like he has the ability to summon different personas. I suspected as much after the events from the other day, but now we know for sure. Your chest looks different from the one before. Yes, that particular box is sealed in a special way. The box can be unlocked by its own mechanism, but it needs something else to work during the dark hour. What's that you got there? what Takiba said. Please prioritize getting back safely for now. Looks like you found a teleporter. Now use it to return to the entrance. 